Hey guys, how are you? It's Corey, and this is Mama, and we're the Bull Mangani Boys, and we're just two of them. But we're coming at you, and here's kind of the purpose of what we do and what we're all about. We're just regular down-home guys, and uh, we're just we're just all about hunting, fishing, laughing, having fun, and so that's what we do. And we uh, we've done it for what? How long have we done it? Years. 18, 30? 20, yeah. 30 years? Yeah, maybe. Close. Maybe we're getting that old. Could be. Well, you shot your first deer when you were, what, 12? Yeah, I yeah. was successful the first time at 14, but I shot my first deer <laughs> at 12, yes. And so, I mean, we, we've we been getting after this for a long time, and uh, we just want to have a good time with it. So, we're going to have some laughs, make fun of some people, talk about some issues, have a good time, but... Uh, what we did to kick off our first episode in 2017, right, Mama? Yeah, we are yeah, we're there. coming at you with top 10 reasons you were not successful this deer season. Boom! Don't stop, turn that up, take it higher, take this mother up, stop a riot. All right, so give it to us. What's uh, what's number ten? Okay, so number ten is something that if if uh, for us we came from from Iowa, moved to Nebraska. So if we wanted to hunt back in Iowa, we have to apply in July or yeah. June for yeah. for a, a non-resident tag. Correct. And a lot of us aren't really thinking about hunting in June or July. It's not on the not on the forefront of our mind. No. Occasionally, some of us will forget to apply for a tag. Bingo! That would be me. Yes. But that's the only places that we have to hunt, the only land we have permission on, that <laughs> really leaves us in a shortfall. So, so uh, you forgot to apply for your tag. Uh, you kidding me? Who, fl yeah. who forgets that? How that only gets rated at number 10 on this list, I don't know. That, that should seem to be pretty number one. Yeah, until you hear the rest of them. Yeah, yeah, there's some, there's, yeah. There's some more to come. So number nine, give it to me. Okay, Boom. so the first time you decided that you were going to practice shoot your bow all season was the day before you were going to crawl up in your tree stand the next morning. Oh yeah, we've, we've seen it a lot. We've heard a lot of stories out there. We've done, well, I don't know if I've done it, but... No, and there's and there's a lot we of got, people that, that, we got. that exaggerate how much they shoot. You know, ah, I'm oh, shooting yeah. 25, 35 <laughs> arrows a day. Nobody's shooting 25, 35 arrows a day. Bottom you know. line is, is we've heard guys do it, and you know what happens? A monster walks by. Yeah, oh, there. Yeah, and exactly you hit him in the hips. <laughs> you hit him in the hips. And I'm telling you, it's happened to people out there. We know them. And God forbid it ever happens again. I'll guarantee they start shooting their bow in February yeah yeah for sure for sure they just because don't stop. it's one lesson and it's greatly learned yeah it's a harsh lesson to learn all right so number eight is you might need glasses get your freaking eyes checked Pootie, get your eyes checked yeah this is this is actually something that he's dealt with this season a couple times Twice. He, was, he was very successful this season but he has a hard time tracking his arrow after it leaves his bow that's true. And boy, that leads to a lot of conversations, phone calls, text messages. Well, where'd you think you hit him? Where did you hit him? Which direction oh, did he run? Sometimes that'll make you go buy a brand new site. For $150, you're going to buy the best site out there, $200, $300. But you know what? Just get your eyes checked. Get some glasses. Yeah, yeah. And, and you shoot better, right? Okay. Number seven. What is it? Okay, so this is something that uh, that happened to me. We had we had a, a plot of land that was kind of on an island, and we took a boat all the way across this plot of land. And I didn't have time to hang a stand. And I had a friend that was gracious enough to hang a stand for me. And you know, he, he we're I know there, that we're guy. There, yeah, we're there in the morning. It's very guy. very dark, and he's like, "Hey, you just take this GPS that I got here. I've got a <laughs> waypoint marked on here, and all you got to do is go to that waypoint." Don't take your eyes off of it. You just go right towards it. Keep your headlamp on. Hour and a half later, the sun comes up, and I'm sitting back in the boat because I can't find the I can't find the tree stand. I don't know how to work the GPS, and I am <laughs> as lost as it can get. <laughs> oh Jesus! Uh, don't get lost on your way to a tree stand. Know where you're going. Number six. Your friend gets lost on his way to the tree stand. Okay, or your partner, or your wife. Or whoever it is. Look, 
if someone gets lost in the woods, um, Ram, I'm talking to you out there, a buddy of ours, uh, you know them. They walk by your tree at like 8 o'clock and they have no clue where they are. None. And you're like, hey, buddy. And he looks up at you and you're like, oh, my God, it's you. What are you doing? Right? It's happened. Are you in my tree? Did I go to your tree? <laughs> it's happened. All right, number five, what we got? So number five is something that I just went through a year ago. Um, Phones are ringing. Shut them off. I was fortunate enough where my wife is pregnant. Everything is looking good. Everything is looking great. Due date, November 5th. <laughs> Baby comes November 5th. Uh, where we hunt Midwest, uh, that's you know getting getting to be prime time. That's, prime, that's that that's, is prime that's, time. That's, it's you like, know it could be some years that's peak rut, some years that's pre rut, but it is it is always good time and uh, forevermore. I now have a birthday party <laughs> on I'm or around November fifth that I'm gonna have to attend. So <laughs> and, and I'm gonna probably have to be there myself. <laughs> probably true. It's so so uh, plan it out. Talk yeah. to her, figure it out. Uh, it, it, avoid November, avoid December. You can maybe get away with October, but uh, the greatest prime time, stay away from it. Uh, look, you got 10 other months to have kids, figure it out, all right? 